Hey guys, and welcome to primandprep.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to build a lather with shaving cream. So, as you can see, I have a bowl, I have my cup where I am soaking my Best Badger Brush by Edwin Jagger, and I have my Pro Rasso shaving cream. That's the shaving cream I'm going to be using today in this video tutorial. Um, so, let's talk about choosing a bowl. And First of all, if you don't need a bowl to build a lather, but it's the best way, it's the most effective way, and it builds the best lather, definitely. I'll be talking about alternate methods at the end of this video about how to build a lather, but today I'm going to be using a bowl, and let's talk about choosing a bowl. So you want to choose a bowl that has enough depth so it doesn't go spilling out the sides as you're mixing it up, and but you don't want it too deep like a cup, otherwise you can't get your hand in there to mix it around very well. You're going to be needing to move a lot with the brush. Um, so I chose a ceramic bowl because I think it holds heat really well. Metal bowls also hold heat really well, but sometimes they get too hot. And glass is probably my least favorite type of material for a bowl. So let's talk about prep for a little bit. So as I first thing I do is I fill up this cup with hot water. And I put the badger brush in there so it can start soaking up um, water into the badger hairs. And as I'm doing that, I'm letting hot water run into my ceramic bowl so it gets nice and hot and it maintains that heat throughout the whole time I'm whipping up the sh whipping up the shaving cream. Um, so once you guys have that ready, and it's going to take about two, one to two minutes, two minutes tops, um, then you'll be ready. So uh, let's jump right into it. So Right now I have about one to two tablespoons of hot water left in the bowl so I could whip up some shaving cream. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add about an almond sized dollop of shaving cream to, to the bowl. So that's about the right size you want. And I was trying to do this in my bathroom, but the setup is really hard to set up a camera in there, so. So I decided to do it on the table, and I, we'll see how it turns out. So after you've added your almond-sized dollop, I'm going to take out my badger brush. And I have a, just a pan right here, a pot, to get some of the water out, so I'm just going to shake it couple times into that pot and I do have some water remaining in it but um, not that much I did about three or four good shakes so the first thing I'm gonna do is I like going it doesn't matter which way you go but I like going clockwise to start and remember so start off with one tablespoon of water in your bowl because you can always add more, but if you start off with too much, it's going to take, it's going to be almost impossible to whip it up to the right consistency. And I'm just going to take some off the sides and bring it back into the middle. So I actually do want to add a little bit more water. Let me try. And then, about halfway through, I'm just going to start going the other way. And I'm going to bring some back from the sides again. And anytime that you see a big air pocket, I like to just go straight down on it. Because it'll pop those air pockets. And then just continue with the circular motion. And I'll go the other way. So it usually takes me about two, two to three minutes to get the right consistency. Starting, I'm almost there, it seems like. And compared to other shaving creams, I'd say Parasso is actually one of the easier ones to whip up. That's why I use that for my video tutorial today. I think it's definitely easier to whip up a lather using shaving cream compared to soap. Although some soaps do a pretty good job as well. 
So good. So once you feel like most of the air pockets are out, you're pretty much there. So as you can see, this is it has this film. It has kind of a film consistency. I pull as I pull it. Let's see if you can get a good view in this. But as I pull it out, it should stick to the stick to the bowl a little bit, kind of like a kind of like a cobweb or something that has some stickiness to it. Good. So good. Now I I have a nice thick lather, and I have plenty to do multiple passes with my with the grain against the grain and across the grain shaves. Um, you want to make sure you have enough for all those to get your baby butt smooth shave that you're looking for. Um, let's talk about some other methods. So that's shaving with uh, whipping up a lather in a bowl, which I think is the most effective method um, because everything is contained. Another way you could do it is if you're traveling and you don't want to you know, pack a bowl with you is just add a little bit of your shaving cream to your brush that has been soaked for one to two minutes in a cup just like how I showed you earlier. <clears throat> All you're gonna do is add the same amount about an almond sized dollop and then you're just gonna you're just gonna massage it in with your hands and then add water as needed and then it's not gonna create nearly as much lather but it's a good way to um, you know on the on the road whip up a lather is to just add some cream or some soap to your brush and then just massage it in until you get a lather. It's not going to be as good as I talked about. It's not going to be as sticky and as, as thick as this is right here. This is perfect, I think. Um, another method is to just make a bowl with your hand. Uh, add a little bit of hot water, and same thing, add a little pea-sized or almond-sized dollop, and then just whip it up in your hand. And then you can apply it, and then put your brush down, and then use your safety razor to shave. But those are two alternate methods. This is my favorite. I like using a ceramic bowl. I like using Pro Rasta, it's super easy. And my best badger brush that has soaked up a lot of water during the prep stage makes it super easy and it builds amazing lather for that perfect shave. So uh, hopefully this help was helpful for anybody looking to find out how to build up a lather if you're just getting started in wet shaving. Um, Leave me a comment down below. Head over to primandprep.com. I have a lot more information on wet shaving. Um, there should be a link floating somewhere around this video right now. And you could head over there and check out the content we have. But hopefully this was very helpful for you guys. Have a good day.